She's getting baptized in it. May 2024 is your best year. 318,000 likes. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Where's all the comments talking about this being woke? Because rainbow? What's going on? Or, you know, because, I don't know, woman? I, uh, where's all the woke folk? Where are you? Made it with my own two hands. Thanks to everyone who appreciates this. All right, what, what did you make with your own two hands? Did you make the AI generation program to make this? Are you saying that you actually did make it? Did you gather all those people together on the beach? What did you do? I've got a sneaky suspicion that this subreddit is about to be 80% AI posts because every time I'm on Facebook, guess what I see? A bunch of not real images, and it's really, really sad. I made this plastic Frenchie from used bottles. It's a great idea. That is, except you f didn't. <laughs> You're not even real. You're not real, dude. Neither is the Frenchie made out of the weirdest looking plastic bottles of all time. Holy low resolution. My talented son sculpted a dog from plasticine. This must be another AI one. It's just too low res. Or, or it is real. It's funny that it being this low resolution somehow helps it feel more valid. Today's best photo. Ooh. <laughs> 254,000 likes. The dead internet theory is real. Like 90% of everyone on the internet is completely fake now. <laughs> there is no way. I, I don't know a single person, thankfully, that's dumb enough to look at this and go, where did they find the massive golden Jesus in the ground? Women bad. Oh, pff, finally, correct. <laughs> okay, ladies, what's harder to do? Parallel parking or shutting the f*** <laughs> up? <laughs> I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking part in a competition. Please appreciate it. No. Supposedly, this cow was farting a lot and ruining the environment, so I ate it. You're welcome. Be a hero. Eat meat. We need more heroes. Okay. Why do people like this insist on, like, almost fetishizing eating meat? I get that, you know, there are the vegans out there that are snooty and weird and on their high horse about their diet and everything like that, but it's so weird. Instead of going, I don't care, it's none of your business, you have to clap back by practically telling people you want to f*** your steak. Here's what you can do with my dose, Joe. Uh, that is a big do- I will admit, I will admit, if they were gonna give me the <laughs> vaccine and it was that large, I would have some questions, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> the year is 2076. The lithium mines have dried up. Electric cars litter the wasteland. Humans are devolving. One man is about to change the world. Do you think if Facebook were around near the advent of the internal combustion engine. Do you think the motherfuckers would be posting images like this, but, you know, caveman holding a horse or something like that? Healthy food. Unhealthy food. Well, let's take a look at those individual ingredients, shall we? We've got, assuming, fresh vegetables, some cheese that's doing pretty good, some meat that probably isn't full of salt. The bun's gonna be full of salt. They always are. But, that crap we're looking at right there, I don't know what restaurant that comes from. It's kind of an unfamiliar burger. Anyway, that is pumped so full of salt so that it doesn't go bad while waiting for you to order it. In my personal opinion, Disney did a better job with diversity when they weren't even trying. Ah uh, yes, when you were a kid, it was totally fine. But now that you're an adult, it's woke. <laughs> okay, bye. By the way, if you didn't understand what I meant there, I'm not saying anything bad about these characters. I f***ing love all these characters, especially Tiana. Tiana is the best Disney princess of all time, followed closely by Nani, but I digress. Kids these days don't don't understand anything. The trash won't empty by clicking on the trash icon. You'll have to physically take it out. Okay. <laughs> if your child is that old and you actually have to explain that earnestly to them, that is your fault. You've been working a lot of long hours lately. Why don't you take a week off to spend time with your fam? No! Um, I mean, I'd love to, but I just have too much to do. Thanks, boss. I'm good. Uh, hold on. What's the, what's, what's the problem here? Is just everyone in his family's angry? Well, look, if they're all Debbie Downers, I totally get it. I'd rather be at work. <sighs> UNC thinks he's cooking with this. Oh, your uncle, not UNC. I'm an idiot, right? Women are not good people. Women are not good people. Women are not... Dude, you've been about women on Facebook in the weirdest way possible. Do you think...
think you're good people? What makes women not good people? Harley Davidson is closing many of its plants due to declining sales. Apparently, the baby boomers all have motorcycles, and Generation X is only buying very few, and the next generation, the millennials, aren't buying any at all. A recent study was conducted to find out why? Why is that a question? Here are the reasons why millennials don't ride motorcycles and why sales are down. All right, here we go. <laughs> Pants won't pull up far enough for them to straddle the seat. Can't get their phone to their ear with a helmet on. Can't use two hands to eat while driving. That one's weird. They don't get a trophy and recognition plaque just for buying one. Oh, right. Your generation invented those. Don't have enough muscle to hold the bike up when stopped. Dude, you're like 75. Neither do you. Might have a bug hit them in the face and they would need emergency care. It depends on how fast you're going, I guess. I mean, I swear, if you hit a fucking cicada while you're out there and you don't have your damn visor down or you're not wearing a full face helmet, you might as well just be dead. Motorcycles don't have air conditioning. Yep, only young people enjoy air conditioning. That That's what it is. Keep in mind, there are some millennials in their 40s now. They can't afford one because they spent 12 years in college trying to get a degree in humanities, social studies, or gender studies for which no jobs are available. Thank you for convincing us to go and get Get college degrees, by the way. Totally our fault. They are allergic to fresh air? Okay. Their pajamas get caught... Wait, what? Their pajamas get caught on the exhaust pipes? <laughs> they might get their hands dirty checking the oil. The handlebars have buttons and levers and cannot be controlled by touchscreen. You have to shift manually and use something called a clutch. As somebody that can drive a car manually, barely, I mean barely, I can do that. <laughs> I just grew up in an automatic world. That's all there is to it. Um, I do have to say, the one time I rode a dirt bike, it was manual, and I'm never getting on a fucking motorcycle again. My brain could not comprehend it. How men who drive Teslas check their pizza. Oh, come on. You know that's how you're checking for your pizza, too. You you know. At least he died before he wasn't allowed to play with his Legos. Okay, sure, yeah. Me. This is one of my favorite band lead singers. Person. Why is he wearing a mask? Oh, maybe because he's ugly? B please. I don't know who this is, but that's cool, man. You can you can say the dude's hot. You can just come right out and say it. That's fine. Ah, uh, yes. We're all buying $9 coffees. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here's the difference in my eyes. Gasoline for almost all of us working Americans is completely necessary. We have to buy it. We don't buy it. We don't get anywhere. We lose job. We'd be homeless. And the sweet Starbucks stupid coffee, which isn't $9, it's probably like 6 or 7 or whatever, not that that's much less, is something that brings at least a modicum of joy into our lives. So f*** us for trying to get a little bit happier because we weren't born in the generation where you could buy a house for 4 bucks, work 12 hours a week at a f burger shack, and have college basically free. We need to normalize. If something needs to be normalized, then it isn't normal. Man, I really don't like how people sort of stole Ken. I don't think people really understood that whole movie. I, I don't, I don't know. What's with using Ken for bigoted memes when literally the whole point of his character is to grow out of his closed mindset? He's also shown to be visibly wrong and so closed-minded that it's actually played for comedic effect. These people wouldn't get messaging even if it hit them in the face with a shovel. You watched The Matrix and sided with the Resistance. You watched The Hunger Games and sided with the Resistance. You watched Star Wars and sided with the Resistance. When it's fiction, you understand, yet you refuse to see it when it's the reality you're living in. Wild. Uh, people saw it just fine. They saw it just fine. It's just, unfortunately, in the real world, it's not a scripted adventure. Uh, it's a little bit more serious than that. I'm taller. I'm cuter. Whoa, that's not even... People prefer dogs, not giraffes. I mean, why would he say that, though? Aren't, th aren't they dating? Hell, you know what? They're practically married at this point. Beyonce, this ain't Texas. Me, turn off radio paid for by the Texas Board of Tourism. Is that what that is? No, I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Mother-in-law rage bait? You know why you can enjoy a day at the zoo? Because walls work. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's a really disgusting comparison. I love Eminem. I prefer Skittles. No, not the candy, the wrapper. 
Why would I eat the wrapper? This joke was so much funnier before it was plastered over these two from luckily not the worst Pirates movie, but I digress. Sexually, I identify as Little Caesar's Pizza. My pronouns are hot and ready. Okay, but this one, I, I feel like this one's slightly funnier than normal, right? All these people have the one joke and that's really it. But at least this one probably took them an extra second to think of or an extra like megahertz of brain power to come up with. Found this in a food recipe group. When you're so Christian that people think you're acting as if you're part of a religious right-wing cult, you know you're doing something right. What does that mean, when you're so Christian? It's not very Christian to, um, you know what? I'm not really gonna get into that, but I don't think that real Christian values line up with whatever the f*** you're implying here. Modern philosophers, time to talk about boring nonsense. I'll get us soy coffee. Ancient Greek philosophers, nice physique, bro. Thanks, bro. Let's discuss the meaning of life later. Wait, <laughs> hold on. The meaning of life, what do you think modern philosophers are talking about? We're gonna be talking about the meaning of life forever. Are you just, oh, you're making, because you thought the guys back then were really hot, and you think dudes now aren't as hot. You're just in denial. Gamers don't die, they respawn. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Her. That thing is broken. It stopped sucking. <laughs> it must have gotten married. <laughs> Bro, you eating out? You not? Then maybe you shouldn't bitch <laughs> about no... You, you know. You know. I'm sorry. There's some reciprocation to be had here. Massachusetts officials ask residents to lend a helping hand and offer migrants an extra room. I feel like that didn't happen at all, though. Like at all, right? It's been a rough week, but on a positive note, I didn't need any bail money and didn't have to hide any bodies. You know, I feel so bad for the minions. I really do. They were absolutely stolen by Facebook moms and weirdos and turned into, well, uh, the epitome of cringe culture for a lot of us on the outside or on the other side of this fence, so to speak. But honestly, they're still goddamn hilarious. If you ignore all this crap and watch the movies, the minions are still pretty all right. Galen? What? I have more fans than you. No way! I don't care about either of you. No, you make me a sandwich. How about a salad? Ha ha ha, okay. Savage Snape. What do you want, Severus? I wanted to say something. Well, go ahead. Roses are red, violets are blue. I thought Voldemort was ugly, then I saw you. Wow. <laughs> Holy sh**. <laughs> That one just reignited my adrenal glands, dude. I felt fight or flight reading that shit. This meme screams 2016. The deplorables. This meme screams something else. It ain't just screaming the year, I'll tell you that much. Election season is coming. Don't forget to take the trash out this November. <laughs> While you may see invaders of Gondor, I see doctors, scientists, and families looking for a new home. Again, these comparisons are really frickin' weird, dude. Hell is seeing the person you could have been. Okay, that's really weird. You look goddamn fantastic right there. Uh, whoever put used there? Dude, dude, that's just a sad, lonely, incel psychopath who was mad you didn't swipe right on him. <laughs> that's so lame. She could have been uncanny. Any AI generated art could how many babies do you know with a perfect row of teeth at that age not to mention the finger they're missing didn't even notice all of that fun sh as if gas powered cars aren't also shipped across oceans <laughs> Remember, remember, if someone uses an AI-generated image to support their argument of something happening, that means that that was their only way to show you what they think is happening. Which, when you think about it, means that it's not ever f happening. I just bought a Michael Jackson album, then he died! I just bought an Amy Winehouse album, then she died! I bought an iPhone, then Steve Jobs died! Hold on a second, I should buy a Justin Bieber album. Okay, man. Whoo, I do not know what the problem was with this child who became famous back then. Why were we so obsessed with hating a kid? It's really weird. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. That's nice, Mr. Kennedy, but what does my country do for me? <laughs> he just told you not to ask that question, okay? Why did you do that? This is the reason why mosquitoes don't bite girls. Makeup, skin, and then blood right underneath. You got makeup, skin, and then it's just a thin layer of blood directly underneath the skin. <laughs> 
<laughs> so stupid, man. Who are you? It's me. I'm Peter. Peter who? Peter Skywalker. Black Panther won three Oscars. What is this shit? How I sleep knowing I won an Oscar and Black Panther didn't? Yeah, that's a good question. D uh, that's really, really weird. Look, I'm happy for Godzilla Minus One. That movie was freaking fantastic. Also, can these idiots please not drag Godzilla into their bullshit? Please. From the college cost me $3,500 crowd. I don't care about your student debt. You went to college. You're supposedly smarter than me. Figure the shit out yourself, genius. Okay. I mean, they probably are smarter than you, to be fair. Oh, Snape. Ten points from Gryffindor. As if you've ever kissed anyone. Actually, I have kissed someone. Kissing your mother doesn't count. No, but yours does. Wow, I hope I never have to read one of these again. Again. Holy crap. A recent study showed that 98% of women like when their man is fishing or hunting because it gives them more time for cleaning. <laughs> Okay. Eight planets, 204 countries, 809 islands, seven seas, seven billion people, and you fell in love with someone who doesn't exist. I certainly didn't, normies. You're just pathetic, lonely, and horny. Weebs, so are you. I'm, uh... Everyone on my position, we have incoming. Kiss me. What? Public displays of affection make people very uncomfortable. Oh, sorry guys, I'll come back later. You know what? They could have tried. Maybe it would have worked. Censorship. No such thing as free speech. You may not want to hear this, but oppression isn't hearing a word that offends you. Oppression is being told you can't say a word because it might offend someone else. Okay. Rules for thee but not for me, or something or other, I don't know. You'll never understand my pain, TikTok ban. Uh, sorry. Living through and witnessing 11 Iraq and Afghanistan wars, global stock market crash occurring after graduation. Okay, millennials, we can chill the hell out. TikTok isn't just my goofy, stupid content. There's a lot to be lost if TikTok disappears. I know you may not like it, but you as a millennial probably loved Vine, didn't you? What brings you to Canada? Canada. I was in a pub in Dublin, and it said on my coaster, drink Canada dry, so I thought I'd give it a go. Sure. Her when you stick it in the wrong hole. Her when you slide it in the right hole. Yeah, okay. Tax season. Taking her straight to H&R Block. Okay. Cool. More garbage AI generative trash. I hate my wife and my marriage sucks, so I'll make a joke about women never shutting up. The snoring of men is the karma of women who don't shut up all day, and men don't shut up all night. That that's really cool. It's actually sleep apnea, dude. You're gonna die. <laughs> Life before Jesus. Life after Jesus. Man, come on. You know damn well that Jesus is gonna be cracking some monster and watching OnlyFans with me. All right? Okay? Thank you. I'm glad you understand. System. Enter password. New York 123. Password must contain capital. Washington DC 123. Got it. Yet another version of the wife takes forever take. Legend says the husband was waiting in the car for his wife to get ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely ready a little bit quicker than a lot of people I know, but uh, the people I live with now are ready so much faster than me that I find myself having to sprint out the door and they've already got the car ready, all right? Tip of the iceberg from my cousin's feed. Now, nah, it's gonna be great. Climate change, okay? Social credit system, climate lockdowns, new world order, smart cities, depopulation, travel restrictions, carbon taxation, food rationing, digital IDs. Do you know what the funniest part about this image is? This guy doesn't believe in climate change, and he put in this giant iceberg that probably no longer exists due to f climate change. What a terrible, polluting environment. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. That's not how any of this works, though. We're not going to throw up a city behind everything. Why is this the comparison? Which book would you rather guide your daughter's life choices? Man, what's it like? What's the view like from your cherry picker? Met two gods, still a Christian. Met two gods, humiliated both. Met a god, got wrecked by him. Met two gods, made one bleed and emailed the other. Met 23 gods, buried them all. They surely didn't have shitty music back then. You guys always think you're so much better than me. Today's music. Uh, no, no, uh, no decade or genre of music is objectively better than another. I'm a huge fan of 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s. Hell, take me back to the 1800s, baby. But today's music is pretty great. Quit being a baby. Those 50 to 200 songs are what have been preserved from that whole decade. They all had thousands released every year, just like now. OP, you're listening to the scum that gets discarded and forgotten about when the Nostalgia albums were made. Exactly. We all 
also forgot about the bad ones. Oh yeah, for sure. Someone will absolutely pick any of those decades, pull out one of the greatest hits of all time from those decades, and forget that there were thousands upon thousands upon thousands of other songs that were probably sh** in comparison. When I see this, I think of this. All right. McGonagall loses Dumbledore in a crowd. Slytherin wins the House Cup. 20,000 points to Gryffindor. Found him. Maybe Miriam Margulies had a point about leaving Harry Potter in your childhood. <laughs> Coworker has been divorced three times, and I'm starting to see why. Wow. That's not really concerning at all. I don't care if you did this as a joke. That's really, really weird. Guy says something mean to me? I don't care. Guy says something mean to a girl? It's beatdown time. Okay, yeah, sh go for it. Today's world summed up. Remember who raised who here? They could very, very easily kick that lazy ass out the stroller and go do whatever they want. They're enabling it. Not saying that in this weird, fake, completely not at all real scenario that he's not, you know, a lazy douche or anything, but Chris, you Yes, yow, sup, the muscular one. Oops, that's me. No, that's me. Fine, the one playing Peter. Yes, sir. Dang it, not you, Tom. What did I do? I'm going to die. Yeah, last I checked, trees fall on gas-powered cars, too. Irony, when you buy an EV to save the planet and a tree kills it. I've got a sneaky suspicion that most people that buy EVs probably don't actually give a shit about the environment and they're buying them because, woo, fast room, I don't know, maybe they can get cheaper electricity, charge it with their solar panels, save 12 cents a year. I don't think most people actually give a rat's ass about the environment. They just want to skip the gas station and have all their torque available immediately. So, all right. Wonder who would win? Folks keep talking about another civil war. One side has about 8 trillion bullets, while the other side doesn't know which bathroom to use. You have got to get your head out of your ass. I think you're forgetting just how many guns exist in them blue fucking states too, all right? Wife bad, for I am truly wise. A wise man once told his wife nothing because he was a wise man. Bro, just don't get married. You know, don't even date. Just be alone. That seems what, like a lot of these people just want to be alone, but they refuse to. Why do all old people memes make me cringe? If it zips, it fits. I don't know, man. Oh, God. Shares Believe is the most influential song of all time because of its introduction of the auto-tune vocal effect. What the hell are you talking about? We boomers get irritated by new music because of Cher? Like, there's a whole generation of hip-hop artists with lethargic mumbling cadences who can't even rap fast because they're super high on hydroponic weed. It was grown in water, so you have to mention that? Does that does it make it stronger? So they just fall back on auto-tune. And it's not just them. It's been inescapable for years. Pop singers with good voices flatten out their emotion with pitch correction. And so many alternative and DIY... It's not them. They're not choosing to do it. The musical industrial complex is a lot crazier than you might think. Also, I know, I know for a frickin' fact that this dude or gal or whoever made this is probably thinking of using T-Pain as an example of these guys that can't even uh, rap, write, or speak or something like that. When, man, holy sh**, <laughs> if you are thinking of T-Pain, why don't you look him up and actually listen to some other crap? Jeez. The worst vocal effect trend in music history. Oh my god, quit bitching. This is honestly the first time I've come across healthy living bad as a hot take. Boomer YOLO? Remember, the 20 extra years you added to your life through clean, healthy living? Well, these are them. <laughs> oh, Christ. You really just have to win the genetic lottery and enjoy cheeseburgers. You know that woman that was like 103 years old and someone asked her what the secret to long life was? Didn't she say like three Dr. Peppers a day? I hope that I can make it to that age just so I can make some shit up. Oh, <laughs> buy lottery tickets, shred them up, and make milkshakes out of them. Seriously, it works. Liquidate your assets. Buy the lottery!